I'm going to show you how I remove the ejector uh, plunger and uh, ejector spring from an AR-15 bolt carrier group uh, as well as the extractor but mostly uh, the most difficult part is to get this ejector out of there because of the spring pressure and the small roll pin that holds it in there. So basically what you're going to need or well what I use is a real avid bench block this comes in handy for all kinds of gun work. Um, a couple of punches one is a 1 16th punch that's important to have one that small and a little bit bigger one this one looks like a uh, 5 30 seconds or so that's not as critical uh, a mallet that's really about it all right so let's get started so first if you want to just get the extractor removed this is easy so you just want to take it like this you want to pinch down right in this area here and take your smaller punch and just push that pin right out. That comes out real easy. Then your your extractor and the extractor spring comes right off of there. Now we want to move the ejector. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this punch, we're going to punch it through and replace the pin that holds it in with the punch. And that's going to capture it temporarily. So basically I'm just going to I'm going to set this in the bench block just like this so that the pin will come out the bottom and just gonna, so you can see the orientation makes it super easy you want to press down with one finger put the punch on there okay this is a bit better so I'm just gonna put that punch here see I'm pushing that pin right out the bottom push it all the way so now the pin is out and the punch has replaced the pin so this is still in here so now what we want to do because it's under spring pressure you want to put your thumb here pull this out because that's under spring pressure so now the plunger comes out and then your spring drops out if you just pull that thing out, this plunger, which happened to me, is going to be on the other side of the room and you'll be lucky to find it. So there you have it. It is now removed. Now, the trickiest part is to put it back in after you clean. Uh, that's the reason you're going to want to get it out. Put a pipe cleaner in there and get this nice and clean. So now we'll re reverse the process and I'll show you how to put it back in. So to put the ejector spring and plunger back in first you want to take the pin and put it in one of the sides just kind of work it in there just far enough for it to stay so we just put it in just a little bit so it's sitting there like that all right now put your spring back in there now this plunger has a notch in it so in the notch is pressed in there the pin is pushed in and it catches the notch to hold it in place put the plunger in with the notch facing the middle just like that I'm going to put this in with this pin pointing straight down so it fits in there just real nice like that I'm going to put this punch in the hole so it's the punch's own weight is going to kind of keep that heading downward so now I'm just going to press on this plunger I'm going to push it in and if you saw that the punch fell down a little bit so once the notch cleared the punch fell down and now that has captured that all right and we still have the other pin on the other side so now what we need to do is put this like this and we want to push the pin all the way in and that's going to push the punch out the other side. So just put this on here. Sometimes you got to push a little bit hard. 
pushes that out. This pin is almost all the way in. Just push it all the way in. There you have it. The ejector is in. Now what I like to do is just press on it. Make sure I can feel the spring pressure popping it back out. That's got pretty good spring pressure there. Then after cleaning you can put the extractor line it up like that. Squeeze down. You might move it around a little bit and push that pin back in and you're all done all right, if you like this video please hit subscribe below and um, leave some comments of some other processes you'd like to see on video thanks for watching